No orbiting Kadara. I'm picking up something. Deploying probe. Getting a scan. We're getting a lot of Kitcom chatter. Keep us stealth, Callow. No sense picking a fight just yet. Pathfinder, sensors confirm the presence of the Archon's ship. I'll be damned. It worked. But there's something else. That's an initiative ship tethered to it. It's... Ark Parchero. Confirmed. It matches the Salarian Ark. Readings suggest it has been here for some time. Well, that changes things. It's true, then? We found the Solarian Ark? Sam Tactical. It looks like the Archon captured it. The ships are tethered. What's the plan? I'm working on it. Sam, connect me to the Moshai. On screen. Ryder, it's good to see you again. We've located the Archon's ship. It's more complicated than we thought, so I wanted to make sure we knew what we were looking for. It was a large remnant relic depicting Meridian. It's in his private chamber. His sanctum, he called it. He's very proud of that relic. That's what we needed. I appreciate it. And I appreciate what you're doing for all of us. But be careful. I've seen the Archon's cruelty. I hope you don't. That makes two of us. Thank you for your help, Moshai. Of course. I wish you well. Okay, we play this right, not only do we get away with the relic, we save the Solarians. I say we get onto the Ark, assess the situation, then sneak onto the catch ship through the tether. A feasible approach. Currently, Ark Pachero is on standby. Only its stasis facilities are online. What about the Solarians? Unknown. You heard the Moshai. Who knows what the Archon's capable of? If he's done anything to those Solarians, he'll find out what we can do. Ryder? Whatever you need. Those are my people. We'll get them back. Now let's make this one count. <laughs> Tempest, we're in. So far, no unusual activity from the Ketch ship. Let's hope it stays that way. Pathfinder, if you access a terminal, I can assess the situation. Accessing Arc Pachero's internal systems. A moment. Additional data encryption has been added. When has that ever stopped you, Sam? Never. It was a cryptography key associated with Solarian intelligence services. I have unlocked it. 
At present, Arc Parchero has arrived in the Helios Cluster. Location of Nexus is unknown. This is Captain Hager of Arc Pachero. If you are receiving this message, hostile aliens have captured our ship. Please look for our Pathfinder, Seven Reka. Situation urgent. Well, that was clear enough. Let's find him. Overriding bulkhead door. The Pathfinder is responsible for exploring and assessing new worlds for outpost placement and settlement. This is Captain Hager of Arc Pachero. If you are receiving this message, hostile aliens have captured our ship. Please look for our Pathfinder, Zevon Reka. Situation urgent. Heading back! How does the ship look, Sam? Some cat infrastructure has been added, but the ARC systems are operational. So it's flight ready? Yes. Are you thinking what I think you're thinking? The easiest way to save everyone is to take the whole Ark with us. Easy isn't the word I'd use. If the right Salarians are still on board, this might work. I'm not seeing any signs of a fight. Did the Salarians just surrender? Let's hope their Pathfinder can make sense of it. This colonist is deceased. The medical terminal may provide more information. What do their records say about the Salarian, Sam? He is identified as Pathfinder Seven Raker. Shit. The guy we're looking for. We can't catch a break. We're still more fortunate than him. However, initiative records indicate Pathfinder Raker is female. This patient is male. What? Then who is this really? I have his DNA signature from your scan. Locate a sequencer to confirm his identity. The DNA of the deceased Salarian matches colonist Jex Arlen. So they switched them, trying to hide their Pathfinder. Let's check this colonist's stasis pod, see if anyone's there. I've marked the pod row. It's just like the Solarians to pull a sneaky trick like that. So many pods gone. I'd like to think they got away before the cat showed up. Maybe. But that Captain Hager seems pretty worried. This isn't Jex Arlen's pod. This is... This is the deceased Salarian's pod, yet I detect a female Salarian inside. I think we found their Pathfinder. Let's get her out. You need to access stasis controls to revive her. Hey there, take it slow. No need. I'm fine. Salarian stasis recovery is almost immediate. Who are you? Scott Ryder. Pathfinder for the Human Ark. Where's Alec? He... didn't make it. Madness. Stasis was a mistake. I should never have agreed to it. Tell me what you're doing. Seeing what I've woken up to. A hostile species, an armada, set upon us. Our captain saw no choice but surrender. Said we'd live to fight another day. He convinced me to hide in the general population and to dismantle my Sam so we wouldn't fall into enemy hands. But we're still in their grasp, I see. That's about to change. We're heading into the cat vessel to gather intelligence. Wake up a flight crew and ready the Ark for escape. On my signal. That'll be no trouble. And then I'll work on freeing the Ark, so you can focus on your objective. 
We'll get the Ark out somehow. Just wake up your team and stay put. <sighs> One thing at a time. Of course. I'm keying you into our comms. We'll stay in touch. Hello, Pathfinder Raker. Ah, a Sam in my head again. I'm back in the game. We'll be ready, Ryder. Tempest, we're in the tether. Going across to the catch ship now. So far, there are no indications they're aware of your presence. Good luck, Pathfinder. Okay, we keep this quick and quiet, and they'll never notice. Uh, I think they noticed. We walked right into that one! Heading back! Don't let them have the high ground! More of them coming in upstairs! Nice of them to throw us a welcome party! So much for sneaking in. What do we do now? If you locate a terminal, I may be able to analyze their systems. Accessing the ship's systems now. I have located the Archon's private chamber. Is the Archon in his quarters? That information is not accessible. Only the room's location. What's their security situation look like? An alert was issued, but I have countermanded it. The delay is only temporary. Right. We need to hurry. The Moshai said the relic would be in his chamber. Let's get there. Ryder. I thought you were on the Ark. Too many of our people are missing. If we don't find them now, we never will. This is Hager, captain of our Ark. We'll focus on the rescue while you push ahead. A secondary route is available, marking nav point. We'll help you get on your way. Let's move. But I'm a history teacher. I don't know how to fight. And all I've ever done is pilot ships. That doesn't mean I just roll over and die. Back. We can do this. Captain Hager is right. Our people need us. We have to answer the call. Ryder, if you I used to repair the MTL drives on your cash. I could probably rig up some surprises for the captain. We'll try this way to look for our people. I'm sorry we can't help you, but we have our own mission. Good luck, Pathfinder. You too, Pathfinder. Okay, Sam. The relic. Still got a lead on it? Marking the route to the Archon's chamber. You may proceed. Easier said than done. Only three of us and a ship full of cat. It's on them to try to stop us. Armory of some kind. Let's not be here when they put it to use. Good. Here we go! Keep your head down and push forward! Where are we going? The exit is on the far side of the room. With a lot of cat in the way! Drop ship on the way in! It's just got a lot harder! Drop ship! They've got everything! They're reinforcing! We stirred up the hornet's nest now! Watch out for the guys up top! Dropship right about now. Guys, where's supposed to be the cavalry? Hey, you! Is that all you got? Good. Let's 
get the hell out of here. Sam! You're still on course to the Archon's chain. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Rika. I assume those alarms are because of you? Yeah, I had a little altercation. And you? Undetected so far. Still looking for our people. Break out. Defensive armaments of a highly capable warship. All pointed at the Solarian Ark. That's going to be a problem. Your route continues on the far side of the room. If those guns go off, this whole shit, the door just locked. That can't be an accident. Look sharp. I see him! It's an ambush! Those tricky bastards, get ready! That was close. If Rekha's team hadn't come by... Hold us out of the fire! We owe them one. Yeah. Now how do we get out of here? I have located a new path to the Archon's chamber. probably looking for us.
Rika, what's happening? Selden's wounds were fatal. I'm sorry. He was brave. I can't access this terminal. It's not working. Ryder, can Sam open this door for us? Georgina! A moment while I override security. Rika, we've got a big problem. Did you see those guns back there? I know. They'll destroy the Ark before we can power up the engines. Unless... If you've got an idea, let's hear it. Venril here used to repair FDL drives on private cruisers. Venril, an EMP device? It might work. If we rig one to detonate near those guns, they'd lose power. And the Ark would be out of harm's way. What about your missing people? I'll keep looking. Captain Hadrian and Venril will focus on the EMP. Everyone be careful. Good luck. The door is now open. I'll stay in touch over the radio. In the meantime, we've got a relic to find. Sam? Marking the route to the Archon's chambers. Why are we still keeping our voices low? We're sneaking onto an enemy ship. Who already know we're here. It's just what you're doing. Hate to bring this up, but if we don't rescue the Ark, how many Solarians would be left? Not enough. The whole species is at risk. I don't think I could look Callow in the eye. Damn, they're doing it again. Sam? There is an alternate route. Overriding the door now. Nope. The Keta hardening their security. Try scanning the access panel. The door is voice activated. I can attempt to modulate your vocal cords to approximate Ket intonation. Okay. The system is asking for your authorization. How do you wish to respond? Uh, Dostan, Nurai, Chorak, Shura. Really? Access denied. Intruders have been spotted on the ship. We need to secure this area. <laughs> Access to Wonders never cease. Well, we're off the beaten path now. Some sort of lab. Hate to think what they do around here. just handed the relic over. We could all save on ammo. I think we just found all the missing stasis pods. The Solarians. They could still be alive, right? Oh my god. What is this? They're dead. Who could do this kind of thing? Someone's going to pay for this. Take it out on them! Sam, how's it looking? The Archon's treasure will require a new path through the unlocked door.
Rider, caution. Some kind of... Uh, immobilizing field. It's useless to struggle. I've been in this forsaken cluster for decades, surrounded by amoeba. Can you arrive? A human able to do the unthinkable? You even evaded me. Such an unlikely rival was almost invigorating to have one. And yet, it's a fitting end. Is that what sad looks like? I'd give you a hug, but... Hey, back off, asshole. A first sub. The testing begins now. I will learn your secrets soon enough. Report. Await my arrival. Save your strength, human. Reka must have run into trouble. We have her beat. Sam, what can you tell me? I'm sensing a biological transmitter in your bloodstream now, attempting to neutralize it. Okay, that's priority two for sure. Any idea how to break out of this? The containment fields only interact with living matter. If you expire, the field around you will extinguish until manually reset. As you know, my access to your physiology allows me to enhance your vital signals when required. I can also do the opposite. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kind of don't want to die today, Sam. After stopping your heart, I would attempt to resuscitate, of course. Are there any other options? None that I can determine. All right. Let's do it. Not again. Uh, listen. Just in case, it's been great. Stopping your heart. Now. Sam? Stimulating the cardiovascular core. Zero activity. Stimulating the cardiovascular core. That seems to have done the trick. Of course it did. Glad one of us was sure. You two look comfortable. So did you, while you were playing dead. Let's find a way out of this cage, huh? There is a maintenance corridor connecting to this room. Okay. Must be a way to access it. I'll look for it. Could be useful intel here. We should check this area out while we can. Poor little monster! Step away from there! What's that? Archon, do you hear me? Now you have two Pathfinders to deal with, and we're not impressed with your security! Rekha, come in. What's going on? A little diversion. Captain Hazer and Ben Rogan time to set up the EMP. I'll be in touch. That is one kick-ass Solarian. More work is needed to isolate the genetic markers. There is no shortage of specimens to choose from. These Turians possess a useful exoskeleton. On harsh worlds, it could prove advantageous. 
more intriguing there is discipline about them, adherence to militaristic order, an effective trait for instilling obedience. Additional specimens will be required for study. The ones they call Asari. Their reproduction is a mixture of biology, thought, and memories. They take what they need from a species as they should. Reproduction cannot be left to chance. The superior race dominates. Get these. Among the new specimens, the human is the most perplexing. They possess an emotional range which often exceeds the others. Their unpredictable nature marks them as dangerous, but if the root of their passions could be isolated, we must identify a champion among them and capture it for fun. The Krogan are a brutish race which could be useful. Redundant organs and a savage temperament made to kill. Even the other specimens fear them, a deliberate genetic fault was introduced to limit the Quokum population. But I wonder, without this defect, Well, that did something. Let's look around. Go this way. Returning now. This will be fun. You hear that? Yeah. hoping this kind of evil only existed in the Milky Way. Guess I was naive. And now I guess it's up to us to stop it. What was that? I don't think we're alone. I'm really starting to hate those things. What was it doing in here? This is Rika. Some of our people are still alive. I'm headed there now. Captain Hazier, what's your status? The EMP is primed and ready. We're almost to the Archon's chamber. Stand by. Is that a Krogan? It was. Probably one of Drax's missing scouts. The DNA is Krogan, but drastically altered. It's clear the cat are closing in on successfully exalting the species. They're driven and efficient, that's for sure. Captain Hager, this is Ryder. We've reached the Archon's Sanctum. Give the word and we'll set off the EMP. Should disable the guns. Got it. All right, guys, we're looking for a remnant relic. Map of Meridian. Why does he care so much about the remnant? It's an obsession. That's the question, isn't it? And we need to beat him to the answer. Pathfinder, this is the relic the Moshe I described. It does seem to be a map. I'll overlay the 
chart, we are covered in the vault on EOS. So that's... It's Meridian. Coordinates secured, Pathfinder. So that's what you're after. There's more to Meridian than you know. Changing the weather is a fraction of its power. And I will not allow you to defile it. You didn't allow me to escape your little trap either, did you? I wasn't you. It was the artificial intelligence in your head. I've seen what transpired in the laboratory, and now I know what makes you... special. Meridian is mine. I've tolerated you long enough. Once your vessels are destroyed, you'll be stranded here. Captain, fire the EMP! Done! Be good. Got the map. Let's get the hell out of here. And before those guns come back online. Heading back. Pathfinder, a moment. I'm picking up Krogan life signs on board the ship. Several captives are being held not far from your location. They are scheduled for exaltation. Could be the rest of Drax's missing scouts. Sam, do we have time to get there before the Kev restore power? If you act quickly. Ryder, it's Reka. I'm pinned down. Don't think I'm gonna make it. Where are you? Near holding cells where they're keeping several of my people. They're still alive. I ordered Captain Hager back to the Ark. You should be with him. I couldn't leave my people. I had to try. And now, I think it's over. From one Pathfinder to another, farewell. Reka out. Damn it! There isn't time to save both. Once the cat restore power, you'll be trapped. <sighs> but Drax scouts! We just saw what the Archon will do to them. They'll be turned into monsters. Reload. We're going after Reka. Pathfinder, you came. Reka, we couldn't just leave you here. Thank you. My people are at the end of the tunnel. It's kept the whole way. Then we push ahead and don't stop for anything. Let's go. Run! 
Ryder, do you copy? I hear you, Pathfinder. We have the map, but we're trying to rescue some prisoners. But those Ket guns won't stay offline forever. I know, I know. Just tell us if anything changes. You'll be the first to know. Gallo out. Let's get them out of there. Open the door. Can you run? Pathfinder, the cats are close to restoring the ship's power. Tempest, we're going topside. Track for extraction. Understood. Ryder, thank you. Save it for when we're safe. Team will escort the Ark back to the Nexus. I'm sure they'll be happy to see you. Thank you again, Ryder. But I owe you an apology. I made a mistake. Oh? I shouldn't have called you to say goodbye. The choice you had to make. I put too much on your shoulders. You did what you had to. If that had been the Hyperion and I was looking for my people, I would have been the one calling you. I appreciate that. As Pathfinders, the line between serving our own people and the greater good is blurry. I prefer a sharper focus. I don't think there's going to be much of that in this line of work. I suppose not. Whatever the case, the Solarium people are forever in your debt. Earn this. We will. Drac. I heard what happened. Wasn't enough to save the whole Ark, huh? Had to grab a few more Solarians on the way out. Drac, it's... Complicated, except it's not. Leaving my scouts behind was worse than killing them outright. And you're not the one who has to explain it to the rest of the clan. It was a difficult choice, Ryder, but you won an important victory. The Archon has been dealt a blow. Your father would be proud. It's been tough, trying to fill his shoes. I hope I'm finally starting to earn it. Though slapping the Archon in the face like this will only make him more dangerous. Or perhaps reckless. Your father liked putting others off balance. 
He said the worthy would rise above it, and learn to face adversity ably. And the unworthy? Would crumble. I'll leave you to your thoughts. With reverence, Archon, this fascination with Meridian cannot continue. It's the key to our future, Primus. The human knows nothing of its true power. Even we don't fully understand it. Our orders are to exalt this cluster, not study the remnant. Questions are being asked about your judgment. Questions that come from the highest levels. The answers will be clear soon enough. With Meridian, we can transform every world in this cluster to a wasteland. Either the subjects submit to exaltation, or we will use it to annihilate them. This Pathfinder has opened the door. Now we must be the first to cross the threshold. We must seize Meridian before it does. Like all lesser creatures, it mistakes a battle for the war. It doesn't know its weakness. Or its potential. The Archon saw my memory flashes? He got that from my implant? His device went deep. Our connections were wide open when Sam... killed you. They'll know how much we need Meridian. We have to warn the Nexus. We have to move. Thinking about the cat, what they do. What's worse than slavery? Being exalted into killing your own people and not caring. That's what Jaw faces every day, now that we know the truth. I don't know how he handles it, or if I could. You're pretty worked up about this. Kandros wants strategies for handling the cat. I talked with Drac, putting ideas together, expand our guerrilla tactics, get Angaran military advisors, research exaltation. Just, I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. We got this. We're back to back, shoulder to shoulder. Or whatever you like. Nothing fazes you, does it? You always bounce back, smiling that smile. Like you know it's just what I need. You're important to me. Is that so strange? And sweet, too. What's a girl to do? I wish this could fix everything. Nasira, your father, they always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The Initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. We're facing challenges we could never have prepared for. At least now we can prepare to fight the Ket. Sarissa will have a strategy. Just need to find her and the other Asari. It'll be good to have certainty again. I hope the Salarians find their place on the Nexus. We came to Andromeda because we had a contribution to make. The Ket won't take that away. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? I could stand here and drink in that view all day. When I was test piloting the ship back home, I often did. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. 
I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I get it. Like leaving a good story half finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Salarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Now that you've got the Salarian Ark home safely, you'll have the chance to compare. I admit, I'd like to know more about your people. Between Reka and I, we can probably fill in the blanks. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean... a god? Yes. I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd. But I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. There's something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. Wow. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself so often. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. As if this sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. I wasn't questioning your abilities. You never have to justify yourself to me. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that, truly. Now I should probably update the rest of the team with my latest reports. We'll talk later. I would like to welcome our Salarian pilgrims to the Nexus. You have had a long journey, but we're thrilled that Ark Parchero has finally arrived. We ask for patience as we find homes for everyone. To those who doubted the future, the proof stands before you. The Salarians live, and so does their dream. 
Ah, there's the hero who made it possible, Pathfinder Rider. Do you have any words for us? I'd like to think my team and I are hitting our stride. We're getting pretty good at this. A confident Pathfinder. <laughs> exactly what we need. We chose well with this one. We all owe Ryder a debt of gratitude. In the meantime, please enjoy whatever comforts the Nexus can offer a weary traveler. Excuse me. You're the one who saved us. I am? Thank you. I don't know what else to say. I... I'd be dead if it weren't for you. We all would. Now we have a future. A bright future. You've been through a tough time, but it gets better. There's plenty of good in Helios. I can't wait to find it. Wake from stasis, the initiative urgently requires blood, tissue, and DNA donations. See a medic if you think you may be eligible. This is HNS. I have a friend who came across on the Salarian arm. This is not good. Damned exiles. I'll make it right, Dash. I promise. Ryder, that was a hell of a thing talking to your sister in a coma. Can't say I really bought into the whole Sam implant, but well. That was pretty amazing. I don't know. The whole thing was strange. I know what you mean, but everything seems weird at first. There was a time when my profession thought germs were a crazy idea. It just takes getting used to. And if it can help my patients, I'll keep an open mind. That's all, Harry. Thanks. I'll be here if you need me. waiting for you. Careful. Of course you approve. Ryder saved your people. Ryder saved our people. It doesn't matter if they were Salarians. They were citizens of the Initiative. But it doesn't hurt if there's a few less Krogan around, does it? <clears throat> the Pathfinder. Ryder, we were discussing how things ended with the Archon. Kesh, it's true I had to leave some Krogan behind. I'm sorry about that. In this galaxy, I would hope every life matters, even if it's just a few Krogan. Yet I have to question what we gained, provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. Now we have it, and a short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. 
While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the Cat. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. If we do nothing, I guarantee there's a fight coming. The Archon's already studying how to exalt us. It's not pretty. Still, it's better to focus on the outposts. If the Ket attack, at least our people won't be in one place. Then there's this Sam of yours. We took a chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. I can't support your plan, Ryder. Then I will. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture, but you answer to me. I hope you understand. We hear you loud and clear. Good. That will be all. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your sister is awake. What? Go. We'll talk later, in the tech lab. Sarah. Scott. Bring it here. Man, it's good to finally see you. It's good to see anything. I was starting to think I'd never wake up. Well, I sure missed having you around. We've hit a few rough patches along the way. I'm sorry I wasn't there when Dad died. There's nothing anyone could have done. I wasn't even sure I should tell you. I'm glad you did. It gave me time to let it sink in. I'll miss him. But I also know he'd be the first to say, get over it, and get on with it already. Oh, there's been plenty of that. So I hear, Mr. Pathfinder. Not by choice. Uh-huh. Then I guess I'll overlook your little embellishment. You told me we found home. I... Yeah, yeah, I know you meant well. But no more lies, okay? I'm a big girl. I can handle it. From the sounds of it, you're going to need all the help you can get. Careful. No way are you fit for duty, miss. That stubborn skull of yours needs a chance to heal. Says who? Just for once, take it easy, will you? There'll still be plenty of mountains left to climb when you wake up. <sighs> Better leave the tallest one for me. If you two want to catch up some more, that's fine, but no getting out of bed. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Reka. We have a plan for Meridian. Please come by the tech lab as soon as you can. Will do. This is not good. Damn, it's not good. Have you been to any of the Ryder, good to see you. We've been working with the Nexus scientists on the problem of getting to Meridian. We think we have the answer. I'm listening. It's plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. When you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. The Ket won't know which one is genuine. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. It could buy you some time. I can work with that. Just enough to give us an advantage. The rest will be on you. I can handle it. Though it means going against the initiative. We're alone here. You didn't hear that. Hear what? We've been collating gamma charts all day.
Occupational hazard. Part of being a Pathfinder. Sure, if they'd pay us once in a while. Not likely after this. You'll have to research the Ghost Storm technology to start. Then we'll meet you at Meridian. Good luck. But the planet was toxic. What if they store oxygen in porous tissue, like Quiro's rockfish? I still reckon they had breather gear stowed in that armor. Perhaps both. Life. Ah, Pathfinder. The information you gathered is marvelous. You and your Sam, of course. Thanks, Mr... Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I work directly with Sam, refining your field scans into discoveries to benefit the initiative. Hopefully. I'm usually out in the field, but I wouldn't mind talking shop. Uh, lab. You know. You are always welcome. Indeed. It's thanks to your sterling data gathering that we were able to wrangle this space from Addison. Keep up the good work, champ. Hello, Pathfinder. A moment? What can I do for you, Doctor? I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could solve. They concern strange transmission patterns in the Scourge. Perhaps random noise, perhaps not. Sam likes new experiences. It'll be an opportunity to encounter math homework. Given the complexity and the security implications, I recommend transferring the equations directly into Sam node. I have them on an optical storage disk for you. I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank Sam as well. Pathfinder, this is Captain Dunn. There's a situation I could use your assistance with. I'd rather not discuss it over open channels. Please come see me on the Hyperion Bridge as soon as you can. Sorry to call you in, but this is best handled discreetly. Talk to me. Short version. One of Harry's med techs snuck a relative on board. Woke them up, cut them loose. Turns out this relative has a rare illness. Not contagious yet, but in the later stages. Does Tan know about this? What? No, absolutely not. Tan's office is an informational sieve. This gets out, we'll have a station-wide panic. Besides, this is a Hyperion matter. My responsibility. That makes it mine too, doesn't it, Captain? Thank you, Ryder. Please keep this to yourself for now. The only way this ends without major losses is if we handle things before the rumors get out. Right. I'll look into it. Good. Talk to Harry. He can brief you on the details. Let's bring this under control before it's too late.
scientists have few answers as the dark energy anomaly known as the Scourge limits travel and communication in the cluster. This is HNS. This is not good. I'll make it right, Dash. I pro good you're here. Dunn briefed you. High level only. Said to speak with you for the full brief. Great. Well then, here we go. Before we left, my med tech Charlie helped his aunt sign on to the initiative program. He cheated the screening process? Yeah. She has TH314. Deadly. Highly contagious in the latter stages and jumps across species. It was dormant, but flared up when Charlie woke her. He just assumed it was stasis sickness. There's no cure, no vaccine. It's deadly in its final stage, and she's off grid. She's a problem. We need to make sure she's brought in and no one else is infected. I want to put her well being above all else, but we have to consider the implications. Making sure TH314 doesn't spread is the top priority, no matter what. This one isn't going to be easy. Anything else I need to know? Be quick, but discreet. We can't panic the entire station over this. I only have a whole space station to search. Discreetly. Check. Could be worse. She could be off station and potentially infecting the Angara. Try customs first. Even with fake medical clearance, she had to go through there like anyone else. Dr. Carlyle has granted me access to Ruth Becker's profile. The file includes her physical description. That'll be useful. Thanks, Sam. Hey. You're probably wondering how things have been going. Yeah, feeling a little out of it. I know you're Pathfinder, but not much else. Did they make you President of the Universe, too? Well, the big vote is tomorrow, and I'm here to make sure every comatose patient has their say. Vote Ryder. Ha ha. So what have you really been up to? In a nutshell, we found an alien terraforming network that spans the cluster. We're going to reactivate it at some place called Meridian. Wow. That all? Nope. There's also a race of aliens called Ket that wants to turn all of us into them, and their leader, a guy named Archon, wants me dead. All uh, right. Maybe taking a long nap wasn't so bad. You should know. Dad was keeping some secrets from us. How do you mean? First off, Sam's a lot smarter than he let on. Also, his connection to Dad, and now me, is way more powerful than the other Sam's. I never knew that. What was Dad up to? I don't know. But Sam said there are blocks in his memory array. Dad put them there. So he's hiding something. I'm trying to figure out how to unlock it. Knowing Dad, it won't be easy. I thought maybe we could talk about Mom and Dad. What about them? Thought you might want to know how Dad died. I've been wondering. First planet we landed on. There was an atmosphere processor. It was malfunctioning. Dad managed to power it down. Saved us all. But there was an accident. My helmet broke. I couldn't breathe. And then Dad gave me his. He sacrificed himself. It was hard to tell with Dad. He could be so distant. I guess he loved us more than we knew. All those times I yelled at him growing up. You and me both. This is a better way to remember him. Yeah. What do you remember about how they met? As Mom tells it, he was doing his N7 training on Earth. She was a scientist working on biotic implants. He was trying real hard to pull off a bad boy in uniform thing, and failing, but she thought it was charming and struck up a conversation. Dad mostly just grunted. She finally had to ask him out. Our dad, the ladies' man. Then he went off to fight the first contact war. When that was over, we were born, and Dad was posted to the Citadel as an attaché. What do you remember about growing up on the Citadel? Giant space city filled with every kind of alien you could imagine. I remember trying to play hide-and-seek with some Hanar. It was no fair because they could float. Looking back, it's probably why I'm here. I saw how mind-bogglingly enormous the universe really is. 
What do you remember about Mom's biotic research? That was back when biotic abilities were a total mystery. She was a pioneer, helping people cope by designing implants. It's what made her sick, though. People got all sorts of weird diseases from ESO exposure. You still think about Mom? When I woke up, I forgot she was dead for a second. I looked around for her, then I remembered. Dad talked about her, before we left on our first mission. He didn't show it, but he never stopped thinking about her. He wasn't the same after she was gone. At least they're together now. Feeling homesick at all? Well, all I've seen so far is this med bay. We could still be on Earth for all I know. But yeah, before we went into stasis, I was missing my life. Or at least, the idea of it. Which part do you miss most? Looking for Prothean artifacts. My team was a special exo-archaeology unit, fully funded and sanctioned by the Alliance. My job, as in they paid me to do it, was to help dig up more artifacts and learn whatever we could from them. If things hadn't gone sour, it would have been a great life. What was wrong with how things really were? Well, Mom was gone. I'm not sure I'll ever fill the hole she left. And Dad, it hurt him more than he let on. Plus, his research on Sam was illegal as hell. He was trying to save her, and maybe the Initiative looked the other way, but the Alliance didn't. After they discharged him, whenever people found out I was his daughter, door slammed in my face. Being Alec Ryder's kids in the Milky Way, we were in for a lifetime of dreams that were never going to happen. Well, I should let you rest up. Yeah, only way to recover from a coma is getting more sleep. It won't be much longer. At least take some pictures of Meridian for me. I can pretend I was there. These Angara. What? Why? Whoa! It's the Pathfinder. It's me. You're the one who befriended these strange new people, these Angara, and now they're here, on the Nexus. How do we know we can trust them? I mean, for certain. Remember, we're the strangers. This is their home, and they've welcomed us. They've earned our trust. I guess. Talk to them. Get to know them. See for yourself. Good advice. I will. This is not what I signed up for. Is everything all right? Hello, this is Director Jared Tan. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to our new Solarian Cosmos. Please help make their stay a comfortable one, and let's all celebrate yet another sign of our continuing. Pathfinder Drac wants to see you. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Cash just checked in. She'll keep an eye on Reka and her people. Make sure they settle in and stay useful. 
Read the mission briefs. This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. We'll figure him out. Pride will get us all killed. This ain't the time for it, kid. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. I hope it doesn't come to that, but Exaltation seems almost worse. If he has his way, there won't be anyone left to save. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly, each and every time. Another galaxy and there are still despots. When I was on security duty at the Relay, colonies were attacked all the time. We trained the colonists and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. But I've got you. And everyone else on board. Huh. True enough. Never underestimate a small, capable strike force. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. We'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep, so when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. <laughs>